Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 4, which is Introduction to Organic Chemistry, focusing on the subtopic of 4.3 isomerism part 2 of the video. So in this video, we're going to look into the definition of stereoisomerism. Also, we have to describe the cis-trans isomerism due to the restricted rotation about the carbon-carbon double bond and carbon-carbon single bond but in cyclic compound. Okay. So we have two conditions here. And for part E, we're going to identify the cis trend isomer based on the given structural formula. So when a structural formula is given, we're going to identify whether it is a cis isomer or whether it is a trans isomer. Alright, so without any further ado, let us start. So isomer, you have you know that it is divided into two, which is constitutional isomer and also stereo isomer. For constitutional isomer, they have chain, positional, and functional group isomers. While we have looked about this in part one of the video. In this video, we're going to focus on the cis trans isomer, which is in part two of the video. Meanwhile, for optical isomers, we're going to look at it at part three, which is in the next video. So stay tuned. Alright, so for stereo isomer, uh, stereo isomer are basically isomer with the same structural formula but have different spatial, spatial arrangement. So spatial here refers to a space. For example, we have a carbon-carbon double bond where the first carbon is attached with bromine and hydrogen and the second carbon is attached with chlorine and hydrogen. So what really mean by this statement was we will have two structure here which is one, this one is the first structure and this one is the second structure, which is the same thing. Okay. However, as what you can see here, even though they have the same structure, but the arrangement of chlorine and hydrogen is different from one another. Okay. The chlorine here is upwards. Meanwhile, the chlorine here is downwards. So they have the same structural formula, but have different arrangement in space. Because you know that, in reality, the structure exists in 3D. Even though it is attached in the same carbon, but the position of chlorine can go upwards and the position of chlorine can go downwards. Alright? So, several isomer, compound which have their atom connected in similar order. Yeah, C, C, L, H, so similar order, but differ arrangement in space. Alright? So, uh, today we're going to focus on the cis trans isomer. So the cis trans isomer is also known as the geometrical isomer, and this occurs due to the free rotation is prevented by either of by either these two conditions. First is the presence of carbon-carbon double bond, and the second condition is the cyclic structure, where it usually occurs for the carbon-carbon single bond. Alright, so free rotation is prevented here means that. We have carbon-carbon double bond. However, it is very difficult for the carbon-carbon double bond to be rotated. And that is why um, the rotation, uh, the cis-trans isomer can exist. Okay? So, let us look into the carbon-carbon double bond situation first. So, we have um, the structure of carbon-carbon carbon double bond here, as well as the other structure of it, where the bromine position is placed upwards here. Okay, so for this case, uh, this structure, even though that they have the same structural formula from one another, but the name going to be different. So in this case, this is called as cis 2 bromo but 2 in because uh, this is a butene structure, 1, 2, 3, 4, because it has two four carbon. One, two, three, four. And two bromo because it is the bromine is attached at carbon number two. And this is known as the cis uh, two bromo but two in because the CH3 and the CH3 here of the same species is placed on the same uh, position where it has the upper layer, if you were to say that. Meanwhile, for this case, uh, the parent name is still the same, which is 2 bromo but 2 in because it is still a butene. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bromine is attached at carbon number 2. 
Okay, and the double bond is also at number 2 here. However, this is a trans isomer. So, when the trans isomer is when the species are in diagonal to each other. So, when they are in diagonal to each other, means that it is a trans isomer. When they are at the top layer, they, on the same position, they are known as cis. Okay? And you don't have to worry about the naming now because you will be learning about that in the other chapter as well, which is chapter 5, 6, 7 and go on because everything will be started with earth naming. So I'm just introduced a new concept to you earlier so that it's easier for the next semester, uh, for the next chapter. All right. So we are done with the carbon-carbon double bond. Now we're going to look into the carbon-carbon single bond in cyclic structure. So in this case, you can see that the CH3 and CH3 is on the same uh, layer, which is the above layer. Okay, and because it is in the same layer, we can call it as cis. Okay, sister, sisterhood. So, sama jenis itu berada di posisi yang sama, which is di atas. And uh, one to dimethyl cyclohexane uh, gotten its name because one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six means that it is hexane. And cyclo comes because it is in cyclic. 1 to dimethyl because we have methyl group, we have 2 which is dimethyl and it is at position 1 and 2. So 1, 2 and because it is on the same um, on the same position or in the same layer which is the above layer, it, we call it as cis. However, when the same structure is drawn but the spatial arrangement is being placed downward, we call it as a trans, 1,2-dimethyl cyclohexane. Okay, so trans is when the, the same species but in diagonal. Okay, and for cis, it doesn't matter if the CH3 and CH3 is to be drawn downward. And H and H here is drawn upwards. As long as they are in the same position and not diagonal, they are still called as cis. Alright? So above, both of them are above or both of them are below. As long as they are in the same position, then they are called as cis. However, if one of the doubly bonded carbon has two identical groups, the geometric isomerism is not possible. Example, if we have the carbon-carbon double bond and this carbon, as what you can see here, have two identical groups. So when the Carbon here have two identical group, it will not have cis trans isomers. Okay, and same goes to this situation because as what you can see here, the carbon here will have the same identical group. So there is no cis trans isomer that can exist. Okay, now let us look into an example. So which of the following compound can exist as pairs of the cis trans isomer? Draw each cis trans pair. Okay, so for this case, we have to draw the structure first. C double bond C. This C here will attach with two hydrogen. One on this side and the other one on, the, on this side. And then this will attach with hydrogen. Carbon here attach with hydrogen and the carbon here will attach with CH3. Okay, and if you were to draw it nicely, uh, we can say that because of this carbon attached with the same hydrogen here, there will be no cis trans isomer that will form. Okay, and the similar step is done here, where you know that you will start with the carbon-carbon double bond here first, and then you draw H, and then you draw CH3, and then you will be drawing CH3 and CH3 here. Okay. So if you want to draw that, you will know that this carbon here will have the same identical group. So we will say that there is no cis trans isomer that will exist there. Now, for example number one, C, we have the carbon-carbon double bond as well. And then the, this carbon is attached with CH2. And this carbon here will attach with CH2, CH3. And this carbon here will also attach with H. Meanwhile, the carbon here 
will attach with hydrogen and will attach with CH3. Okay, and as what you can see here, the hydrogen, uh, it does not have any identical group and this carbon also don't have any identical group. So now, the same species are placed at the same layer, which is the below layer. So we can say that uh, the cis trans isomer exists and for this case, this is a cis isomer. At the same time, we can flip the position H to be upwards and CH3 to be downwards. Okay, and now you can see that the same species are in diagonal. So we can say that it is a trans isomer. Now for part D, we are going to do the same, but we are going to do the structure first. And then you are going to look at this carbon. So it, when it has two identical on the same carbon, means that there is no cis trans isomers. Alright, now we go into example number two. Is cis trans isomer exists? Provide the name for the structure. So when this is given to you, you will see that the cis trans isomer can act cis because it is both in the same layer. So it doesn't matter where the branching happen. If the branching happen at here, the cis trans isomer can also happen because the CL are in the same position or in the same layer, which is the above layer. All right. And if the CL H to be here and this one is none, then it still can occur. Okay, because it doesn't matter where um, the branching occurs, as long as when they are in the same layer, then the cis trans isomer can happen. Okay, now we can see we can answer the question. Yes, cis trans isomer exists. So if you were to to write the name for the structure, we can start with the um, with the cyclic structure first. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So one is methane, two is ethane, three is propane, four is butane, five is pentane. Okay. So we know that it is a pentane structure, but when it is in cyclic, we call it as cyclopentane. All right. And it has two chlorine, which is chlorine is attached at number one and carbon number 3. Carbon number 1 and carbon number 3. So you can say that 1, 3, dichloro because di means got 2 chlorine at attached at carbon number 1 and number 3. And because they are in the same layer, so it is called as cis 1, 3, dichloro cyclopentane. Okay? And if you were to flip the carbon uh, the atom here to be downward and the hydrogen to be upwards, it will the green color name here will still maintain. However, because the Cl and Cl here are in diagonal, so the cis here will be changed into trans 13 dichlorocyclopentane. Alright? So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!